Hey everyone, welcome back. And here we are in our Subnautica save. If you do not, if you did not watch all of yesterday's or last episode, I don't blame you one bit. Um, it was quite the hassle, if I do say so myself. But this episode, we're going to take a very different approach. And now that we actually have the ability to construct a multi-purpose room anywhere, as well as follow up with a, a scanner room and bioreactor, we can actually begin searching for the Cyclops engine fragment properly, rather than just blindly searching for it. So in order to do this, we are going to need to look for, well, we're going to need a total of 11 titanium, 2 copper, gold, tin table coral for the first part. So let's go find that 2 copper. Table coral is extremely easy to find, so I'm not too worried about getting a sample of that. In fact, I could say that table coral is one of the easiest resources to find, just simply because it's in the starting area in mass quantities. That's one. Now, because the game enjoys doing the old flippity floppity on the um, the ores and which one you get every time, we need to find one. This one's gonna be titanium. Oh no, it's not. Wow, I was wrong. Never mind then. I always thought it like did like a like every other one you would get it would give you that, but I guess not. All right, so cool, easy for me, I guess. So now we just need to uh, collect a thing of table coral and I'm pretty sure that we have the right amount of titanium, but if not, that can always be adjusted. Okay, yeah, we got a pretty good amount of titanium. Good to go. Um, wow, we have a lot of titanium, actually. And we're going to go and store our copper and table coral. And we're also going to go hunting real fast because we're about to starve. So, to do that, we're just going to consume the Gary fish. Okay, apparently that peeper doesn't want to be caught. Wow, they're fast. But not fast enough. Okay, so peepers are actually a really good source of food, apparently. So... If we ever need food in a bust, the peeper is the way to go, apparently. All right. Probably also wouldn't hurt to uh, get some water, I guess. So let's go do that real fast. Um, let's see, there we go. Disinfected water.
All right, what goes into a bioreactor? Because that is the last and the last that we actually need in order to. Huh, I don't know where you get aerogel from though. Um, titanium, we have plenty of titanium, so we just need wiring kit and lubricant. So wiring kits use silver. So let's go ahead and jack some silver from here. I don't even know if we even have silver available. Hmm. I might need to go hunt down some silver. Interesting. We actually might need these magnets actually for later use in the scanner room for building upgrades. What goes in the scanner room upgrades actually? Um, let's see. Copper ore and magnite. And silver and gold. So, let's go find those other scanner room pieces that we have. That we should have, anyways. Hmm. <laughs> Did I not pull the uh, scanner and fragments out before I disassembled it? That kind of sucks. Alright, so we're going to need a lot of silver then. Like a lot of silver. Oh, as well as lubricant. So let's go take care of that real fast, I guess. All right, cool. I can't remember what makes aerogel, but I think it's um, kind of a low-key rare ingredient that is not easy to obtain at this current uh, point in the game. So, because if we had aerogel, then we could build a water filtration system and have almost constant water at our fingertips. Which is always nice. Oh, salt. I'm going to be collecting a lot of salt. Because... Um, we can use the salt to get some bleach and bleach for filtered water. And considering that we're going to be doing um, some pretty uh, pretty in-depth exploration here in a little bit. The proper preparations are always needed. Lead, but not silver. Silver and gold. Silver and gold. We also need copper too, so really anything that we find is going to have to be picked up. Ah. Oh. Titanium, huh? I got plenty of that, but okay. What's that bioreactor? Um... Still need a lot of silver. Oh, but instead we get gold. Alright. Um, not what I wanted exactly. So, oh hey, there's a scanner of speed upgrade right there. Okay, we're good on that. Okay, because it was gold and we have plenty of that, we're just gonna move on.
but even though that we have the silver at our easy disposal, no, the, sorry, the lubricant, we still probably need a lot of silver. Uh, because those uh, range upgrades are definitely needed. Hold on, what went into the range upgrade again? Um, copper and magnite. All right. So a lot of these things are things that we indeed have to uh, kind of keep an eye out for, but they're easy to get. Like copper is pretty abundant if you're actually looking for it. That's only if you're actually looking for it. All right, um, let's go charge those batteries that we've been kind of dropping down there. There, that should do it. Oh, right. Water. All right, let's uh, get some purified water. I, bl hold on. I believe that we have all the resources though for the bioreactor. Yes, we do. So we're gonna go and we're gonna craft the bleach and convert that to water. Or at least clean the water, I guess. And let's go and store some more junk from our inventory into places like here. All right. It is time to adventure. I don't. I'm not sure if the radiation helmet is still needed, but I'm going to keep it for now. Let's, uh, let's charge our Seamoth real fast because it's kind of almost dead. <sighs> Alright, let's orientate ourselves real fast. This way. So we're gonna go and we're gonna set up right on the edge of the uh, spiky platform area. And that's where we're gonna do our first scan. So right up here, a little bit past here, I guess. There's life pod 12. Too bad I can't use you to search for Cyclops engine fragments. Okay, now we need to go this direction a little bit because we don't want to end up in the ghost Leviathan territory. Every time it tricks me. All right, we should be getting close. Or maybe we're just nearing the edge. OK. 
Okay, here we go. This seems like the right area. Yep, because that goes straight down into the freaky bits. So, we are definitely in the right area. Yep, here we are. Okay. Right here, we're going to start our operation. So first things first, multi-purpose room. And let's go to our Seamoth and grab some more resources, I guess. Let's just start grabbing all of them. Why not? Um, then we're gonna need, oh crap, I don't know how we're doing a hatch. Oh wait, yes I do, we have the resources. And now we need the scanner room. I, yeah, we have gold. Okay. Do I not have a good space for it? Is there really not a single open space for the scanner room to latch onto? Come on. Oh, right there. No. Mm. Come on. There we go. All right. Not quite there. We're going to need some more air, first of all. But we're also going to need some gold and probably more titanium. All right. Let's just uh, construct all that. There we go. And now we need power. Which is going to be the interesting part of this. Come on, it's for the greater cause. Come on. Hey. All right. Now we need the bioreactor. So granted, um, what we're going to do is kind of messed up, considering that we're basically using spadefish as... Um, We are using space fish as our way of getting power. And that's okay. I didn't mean to eat him raw. Whoops. Okay. So, interesting. Data box. Huh, but there's a data box nearby. I mean, I guess we can just real fast go and run to it. But I'll need to collect organics on the way there. Wow, there's a lot of data boxes actually. Data boxes that I've already collected. Cool. Because that's just what I wanted. All of these ones that I've already... Yep, okay. That's worthless. Did I miss a data box over here or something? It appears so.
<sighs> Come on. There we go. Nutrient block. Perfect. Fire suppression. And nothing else worth it. Unless, of course, there's like an engine fragment just lying around the scraps that I'm not aware of. That suck. Okay, we need more power. <sighs> Hold on, are there any, um, copper ore pallets that I can use so I can extend the uh, scanner room's power? Like its range? That'd be great. We're going to bring it back through the fish into the uh, bioreactor and then um, see if it found anything worthwhile. I just ate all of those fish. I didn't put a single one of them in there. That's fantastic. Hmm. Fragment. Perfect. That might be it. Uh oh. Maybe not. Well, we're going to have to probably do all of them one by one here and just knock them all out. And just convert all of it to titanium, I guess. Why not? Bronze. Oh, cool. All right. I guess that was kind of worth it. Are these undiscovered fragments or something? Yeah, they seem like it. Okay, cool. I somehow missed that last time, I guess. Um, of course, the Seamoth is all the way over there. We have got a lot of fun stuff to uncover, I guess. And this time, we're going to get some more fish and not eat them. We're actually going to properly put them into the machine. Kind of sucks I can't collect any of those guys. They'd work really good as fuel. Okay. These little guys should definitely help out with uh, our biofuel problem that we seem to keep running into. There we go. All right. We've got some fragments to claim. Uh, let's hope that some of these are actually what we're looking for here. Uh-oh. I don't think we're going to be that fortunate. Oh. Maybe I'm wrong. Power cell charger fragment. Cool. Wow, a lot of them just disappeared after I found that. But not that one down there. Where even is that at? I 
can't tell if it's... Okay, it's pretty close. Oh. Okay. That was useless. Doesn't seem like there's any, um... Any others nearby for me to claim? Hmm. Interesting. So, that may have been all of them in the area. Weird. So what we're going to do now here is we're going to probably end up packing this whole thing up and relocating it. So... Let's go do that. <sighs> first things first. Got to... Deconstruct the bioreactor. And then we're going to pull all our scanner room tabloids out. And now we deconstruct. Uh, there we go. Um, just simply, where, where's my Seamoth at? Oh, there it is. Just because of space restrictions, we're gonna go and not get in, but, um, store a lot of that titanium in the Seamoth so we can continue deconstructing our, uh, All right, there we go. Now we're gonna go and uh, move it somewhere else. Hmm. Probably gonna head over this way about 500 meters or so, maybe more like 200, and then plant it at plant shop up here. Hmm. Up here seems acceptable. So let's drop our multi-purpose room right here. And we're going to set up our scanner room. Right there. And we're going to need to go to the Seamoth pretty soon and grab more titanium. And now we need to go and grab some spade, some spade fish, or just fish in general, really. But spade fish seem to be the most common wildlife in this area. So that is what we're going to grab. All right. And let's, uh, there we go. That's what I'm talking about. Hmm. Doesn't look like it's found any fragments in the area quite yet. But look at that, right? Holy crap. That goes down deep. Oh, 
Must have gotten something. Hmm. Let's get some limestone, uh, some uh, limestone chunks. We can extend the range of this uh, scanner room. Yeah, that's copper, that is. And it is. There's also some down there, too. But that's titanium. Not quite what we're looking for. All right, we're gonna go grab some of the, uh... no, not that one. Not that either. There we go, Magnite. And we have no way to craft. Fantastic. Um, wait, never mind. I have the, uh, the built-in fabricator. There we go. That should really do some good. Let's see. No fragments, huh? Looks like a really big... Whoa. Look at that up there. That's that island. It's like a really cool Star Wars kind of scene right here. So just in case I want that to be my screenshot, we got it. Any, uh... Nope. No signs of fragments. Unfortunate. Hmm. Maybe I should move it back here and see what kind of fun we can find. It doesn't look it's going any faster. All right, let's pack it up. <sighs> All right. I need to go store my uh, materials. We're just gonna drop a lot of the titanium into uh, here. There we go. All right, let's um head over these little like rocky crests and then we're going to drop down the uh scanner room a little bit further back here. Maybe I should have placed it deeper down. We're going to find one of those uh, mushroom forests and drop it down there and see what we find. <sighs> but 
But apparently there's a life pod 13 over there that has high priority passengers. So let's go. I think we've already been there before, actually. But let's go check it out. And then we're probably going to go set up shop there. So, depending on what's over there, that is. Approximately 350 meters left to go before we're there. Oh, wow. Look where we're at. Fascinating. We'll set up shop right down there and see what kind of fun stuff we can find. Yeah, I'm pretty sure I've been I've been through this pod. All right, let's get constructing. Speaking of Constructicons, have y'all seen the Bumblebee movie? That um that was pretty good, uh pretty good fan service, I must say. Especially the uh the Cybertron scenes. That was pretty good. Okay, we need more uh more titanium. All the titanium. Luckily, we're in a biologically rich environment, so... Not too worried about, um... Not having... The, uh, biological means to... Fuel our scanner room. Just gotta, you know, catch him first. And then we're good to go. It is a little messed up, though, that I'm just, like, grabbing spade fish and just chucking them into my uh, bioreactor. Why is oxygen production not in the emergency power protocol? I mean, that's a question that's got to be asked, right? Oh, hush, we're good. Maybe. All right. What do we got? Wow. Okay, that's a wow. All right. It's still searching. Metal salvage. Wow. This is quite the big area. Um, anything that I can actually, like, you know, use and walk away with? No, not really. I might need a scanner room speed up upgrade. Might be what I need. Hmm. Well, the speed upgrade is silver and gold. So. Let's go get some silver. Oh, this is limestone, not sandstone. That's a problem.
Um, all right, let's, uh, I'm at lithium, huh? I'll take that. <sighs> wow, it'd be so great if I could just find the engine. Then isn't that right? Okay, that scanner room is not really doing a good job. It's like looking in the wrong area. That's why I'm going to hold off on it and let it give it a little bit more time for it to scan before I start judging that it doesn't know where anything is. Although we can give it this handy dandy speed upgrade here and that might help out a little bit. Massive range and quite a bit of turbo never helped or never hurt. There you go. It's found something new, but what was it? Lithium, silver ore, shale chunk. Doesn't matter. It's not what we're looking for. Well, shoot. I guess it actually wouldn't be a bad screenshot. Right here. I mean, with the live pod there and all that. Like, that's not too bad at all. All right. Well, I'm not going to drag this episode into the hour under the hour range. So, um, thank you all for checking out my Subnautica episode here, and I wanted to give a special thanks to El Spiet and my other um, supporters on Tingles who have left tips. It means a lot to me, and I cannot explain my gratitude. Anyways, thank you all for watching, and have a 